we decided to perform a retreatment of the mesial root only because the distal canal did not present pathology and had a fiber post that was very difficult to remove. Once I make the opening I find the MB root canal. The first thing I usually do to remove gutter is soften it with heat. Then I use rotary files. The intention is to use them up to two-thirds of the root. Then we will use manuals when we are close to the apical foramen. We use ultrasonic tips to find the other root canal. This way we work slower and more precise. Try to avoid high-speed drills so close to the furcation. Always refrigerate after using the ultrasound either with water or hypochlorite. Another way to soften gutter is with ultrasound tips. I attach the locator to the rotary files when I am working the canal to avoid over-instrumentation. In retreatments I use this type of files every time. They are very resistant and move very well in the channel. Once we have established the working length, we work the root canal in the usual way. I use the rotate system with brushing movements. You should always try to make this movement towards the safe area of the root canal. If the canal was distal, the brushing movement would be distal. In this canal we achieve an apical caliber of 30. We check with a few taps or small pushes on the file to check that it remains fixed and thus check our apical stop. With the cone technique and a low caliber file we check the confluence and thus work the canal in a predictable manner and without the risk of over instrumentation and transportation of the canal. If you want to know more click on the top window.
In the last irrigation, we activate hypochlorite sonically, then EDTA 17% and finish with sodium hypochlorite. We perform a root canal filling with a hybrid tagger technique. This gutta percha thermoplasticization technique is carried out first by performing lateral condensation and then using thermocompactors. To perform the technique correctly, the contra-angle must rotate clockwise. Otherwise the root could fracture. The rotation speed should be approximately 10,000 RPM and the thermocompactor should be two or three sizes larger than the final master file. The pulp chamber is cleaned with a micro brush soaked in isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> 